Hello, I'm Robbie Fowler and you're watching Redman TV. Hello, welcome to Redman TV. It's the Liverpool transfer target focus number one. We're looking at Divock Origi, the Lille and Belgium centre forward. He's aged 19. He is six foot one in height and Liverpool are being linked with a 9.8 10 million pound move for him with the prospect being that we'll sign him but loan him straight back to Lille uh, for another season to continue his development well what do we know about him yes as mentioned Belgian international he's figured out the World Cup for Belgium which is obviously a good thing when you consider the, the wealth of talent available to the Belgians at the moment uh, as I said 19 years old had 6 foot 1 which is not massive for the centre forward which means he's not a genuine sort of target man although he does have the ability to do that Simon Mignolet uh, was talking about him during the World Cup hailed him as a huge prospect which I uh, presume relates to his ability um, and not just the, the physique of the man um, apparently played wide predominantly wide for Lille last season in a 4-3-3 although he has the ability to play centrally and, and apparently uh, as a number 10 when needed as well he made 30 appearances for Lille last season though 18 of those came as a substitute he scored 5 goals in total which doesn't seem like a fantastic return but when you consider 18 of uh, those games came off the bench and apparently he He's the only player aged under 21 who scored five goals in, in their league in last season. That does make it a little bit more exciting of a sort of prospect. So let's look at what he's got going for him. Positives, pace, power, the ability to handle pressure and his versatility, of course. And versatility is going to be a key issue when you talk about Brendan Rodgers' players. The ability to play in, in, in a multitude of positions definitely definitely rings high on Brendan Rodgers' lists of sort of desirable attributes. What are the negatives? Well, clearly he's a young lad, so he's got things like composure, finishing, as I say, his goal scoring's not quite there just yet. You'd probably consider him a rough diamond, and most importantly, he needs games in order to aid his development. So, um, well, there you go. It's, a, it's an interesting one. The press have been very, very keen to highlight this move, potential move to Liverpool, so it does seem to be relatively serious is this the kind of player Liverpool need are Liverpool if it is the kind of deal where Liverpool bring him in for 10 million only to loan him back out is that for you a sign of Liverpool getting the transfer market right or is it you know 10 million pounds wasted that could be spent on someone in the here and now the way I see it is sort of you know Ricky Lambert's on a two year deal how long is Louis Suarez going to be at Liverpool I'd still suggest probably this season definitely but you know we'll see sending a player like that having a, having a player like that on the books let him continue his development and then have him to come in next season I think that seems like a really shrewd piece of business but let me know your thoughts on these. if you've seen any of them particularly at the World Cup or more importantly for Lille let me know uh, give me your little scout report in the comments section underneath and if you want us to talk about any Liverpool transfer targets and do a transfer target focus on them let me know their names in the comments underneath if you like this video don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and join us for more Redmen TV goodness for in-depth detailed discussion on all Liverpool's transfer targets news rumours and general bollocks uh, on redmentv.com it's free for the month go and check it out anyway Paul Machin and sign it off Ta hello welcome to the Redmen TV the breaking news is that Liverpool have finally finally completed the signing of Adam Lallana from Southampton. The protracted transfer saga nears its end, with Liverpool reportedly agreeing a £25-£26 million pound deal. TalkSport reporting 26 uh, so let's go with that for the sake of argument, although I have heard 23 with four million, uh, 22 23 with £4 million worth of add-ons. Who's to be believed? I don't think we'll ever really know, but there you go. Apparently a four-year contract as well. So what do we know about Adam Lallana? Well,